I've been an entrepreneur for my entire working life. I've started many businesses during the past 30 years. Unfortunately, some of them have been hugely successful, while others sadly have failed. So I'd like to share some of the lessons that I've learned in helping you choose the right business idea so that you too can get started. Firstly, I must point out that there are never, or shall I rather say hardly any ever uni unique business ideas. And this is because most people have already thought of the idea before, or somewhere, somewhere in the world, somebody's probably already doing it. So instead of spending hours agonizing over trying to find a unique business idea, rather spend your energy on looking at existing successful businesses that you may be interested in and replicating them. A list of some of the startup business ideas for beginners are in the scroll bar below. Now by following this method of looking at existing businesses, your idea is almost guaranteed to be a viable one as there's a proven market ready for your new business idea. So all you have to do now is to make sure that you distinguish yourself from the other businesses by running it better than your competitors and you should be successful. Remember, don't be scared of competition. Look at what they're doing and just improve on it. Now this may be easier said than done, but at least your chances of success have been greatly improved compared to when you have to start with an unproven concept. I've seen this happen before to entrepreneurs who have had a unique business concept, but the market was just not ready for them. This is because timing in the market is also a vital part of the equation. Some business ideas like Google Glasses were awesome, but just ahead of that time, the market was unfortunately just not ready to accept, to accept it and people didn't want to walk around with geeky looking glasses. So when deciding on a business idea, you should take into consideration what your skill sets are. And this should guide you into a certain direction and focus your options to the type of businesses that is best suited for your ability. For example, if you're a good at cooking and you enjoy spending time in the kitchen, well then how about being starting a restaurant or a catering business? Or if you're a rock climber and you're skilled at abseiling, well how about a window cleaning business for tall buildings? Similarly to your skill sets, you should also self-examine your personality and see which business idea is a best fit for your personality. If you're a person that loves dealing with people and you get your energy from interacting with people, then well, then this should guide you in the direction to ensure that you interact with people. So how about a tour guide? Another good tip is to look for problems, preferably ones that you have encountered yourself, and then start looking for solutions on how to develop a business around resolving that problem. In the process, I suggest you speak to as many people as possible to get their input to develop the business idea. Don't just be afraid of somebody stealing your business idea. Most people never get past just talking about a new business. As Edison said, it's 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. So talk to people to develop your business ideas. Don't just talk to friends and family who will agree with it not to hurt your feelings. Be kind to yourself. Give yourself time, write down the ideas and slowly develop your business plan, which I'll discuss in the next video. So, until next time, remember, we are here to help.